Hello everyone, and I want to show you my cousin's bridal shower that I posted for her on last Saturday. So I really enjoyed um, creating and planning this bridal shower for her for the past couple of months. And I learned so much in that process, and I'm so thankful that um, she chose me to be matron of honor, and I was able to create this for her. And I hope it was so memorable, memorable for her for a lifetime. And we had a great time. We enjoyed ourselves. So let me just show you some of the things. What I will try to do is link anything that I mentioned in the description box. Or I already created a DIY video, food haul video, and also party haul video. So if I didn't say anything in that video it's in the description box and also I'm going to put some information on my blog as well of all the things that I learned because I learned a lot guys so these boxes on the table are from Michaels and the little bows are from Michaels and all of the linens came from tablecloththefactory.com I order from them all the time and I really um, enjoy them they have great customer service, fast delivery. And I went back and forth if I wanted to have it at my home or at the community center. And what I also learned is that it costs so much to rent table linens and so much to rent tables and chairs that it would have been the same amount as renting at the community center. Hall center pieces were Pinterest inspired and I added a few of my own personal touches to that and then also I picked up the white I'm sorry the black napkins and cutlery and wrapped the silverware and used the diamond wrap from the Dollar Tree the party plates are from Party City and I just added some mints to the table and the Dollar Tree containers because we were having spaghetti and it can be a little garlicky so this is our gift table and then I placed some extra Hershey Kisses in that container in the back that these were the favorite bags and on this tablet I had Stephanie and Laurent's pictures and so it was showing us a flat slideshow. So I just used a flipogram. And then they had pearls here and shades if they wanted to take a picture. One thing I didn't get around to do is the photo booth. And one thing I did learn about this entire process is to make sure that you plan and you organize. I am so glad I had my family to help me in this process because there's no way I could have done it without them because I had a ton of stuff to do doing this on my own and there were a lot of things that were not placed according to um, my standard sometimes my mom says I'm too hard on myself but um, like you see the pictures here and I almost didn't get footage guys but my brother did this footage for me and I'm so glad he did so this backdrop here, guys, was Pinterest inspired and also YouTube inspired. And I used PVC piping um, and to hold up. This is actually a damask shower curtain. And I'm using that chandelier that I showed in one of my hauls. One thing about having something at a community center versus in your home, you have to rent your time. And somehow I let the guy that I signed up at the front desk I let him talk me out of <laughs> renting more time and I knew I needed at least two hours and I uh, only had like an hour and a half or I, I would like to have three hours but it all came together I'm so glad my family helped me so much so my overall vision was captured and the bride was happy so I was happy Here's some footage of us just playing some 
games and you can go on Pinterest and find tons of ideas on there and then also we played a game named that love song so I simply just searched a love song playlist on YouTube and they had to name the artist and the title and that was a very simple game a lot of the gifts were just stuff that I already had from Dollar Tree that I wasn't using and um, created gift prizes that way the letters here were actually if you see my laundry room video I was no longer using those words on top of the cabinet that said wash and I said it was so perfect so I used S and H for Stephanie and her last name and that was perfect so I just spray painted the letters added some bling stickers to that and I'm just showing the table again and I have a video all of that link in the description box and I just want to say that I am so thankful for my mom helping me to step out of my comfort zone. I was really nervous doing it outside of my home because it's totally different in a different environment because you have time to play around and move things perfectly. And when you're bringing everything from your home to a different spot and you got only a certain amount of time, it is very, very challenging. And um, But they helped me and I'm so glad. And I'm so glad my mom help me out of my comfort zone so guys a lot of you contact me or say hope oh, I want to get into this or I want to do that guys don't be afraid I was I was really nervous and afraid but just do it just do it and you'll be so happy that you did and I'm so happy that I did and now through this whole process two people have reached out to me to do an event for them guys so it's just do it you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. I have to tell myself that over and over, ever since I was a little girl, and I said, I can do this, I can do this, and you can too. Just pick up the camera or just do it over and over again, and then people will start noticing what you do, what you like to do, what you have a passion to do. And this is just some of the food that we had. I had some veggies here created my own veggie tray that backdrop actually came out really nice my husband did a great job putting it up for me so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i learned so much that i want to share with you all of my experiences and some tips that I'm going to try in the next couple of days to put the, put all of those things on my blog so you can go back there and check everything out because I can't put all of this information in a 10 minute, minute video. So guys, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. I learned from Bishop T.D. Jakes that your passion is your purpose. And if it doesn't scare you, your dream isn't big enough. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed planning it for my dear cousin. Her wedding is coming up soon. And remember that there is always hope. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.